Hey, good afternoon, y'all. My name is Anthony, and you're watching Palmetto Prepared. Today, I wanted to talk about something that everybody should be concerned about, uh, and that is everyday carry. Uh, everybody, I don't care who it is, should always have a few items that they always carry with them. And today, I wanted to show you 10 of mine. Uh, these things are always on me, even when I go to the grocery store or just the gas station. Um, unless, the only time I don't have one of these on me is if by law, I'm not allowed to, like school or whatever. Um, but with that being said, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to go with from most used to least used. So, uh, starting off, number one, my keys. Yep. EDC number one, my keys. Uh, I will always have my keys on me because guess what? I got to drive my truck. How do I want to drive my truck without keys? And how am I going to get back into my house without keys? So, that's a no brainer. You can put these little cool little doodads on there on your key ring for bottle opener or I don't drink beer so I don't have a bottle opener or uh, some little EDC tools. That's not my prerogative, you know, prerogative, prerogative. If, if you want to do that, then so be it. Uh, but that's just not me. Um, boom. Number two. Cell phone. I always got my phone on me. Uh, come from a career where I got phone calls about every five minutes, uh, just kind of habitual to have it on me. Um, can be used anytime from using a GPS to get somewhere to calling your wife and letting her know where you're going to be late. So, hey, cell phone. No more saying. Number three, a wallet. Uh, some people like to have those little uh, little slim wallets, uh, little easy carry wallets, so they just put their credit card and driver's license in their pocket and call it a day. Now, I mean, I like to actually have a wallet. This is a leather one made by Fossil. It's got the little RF, RFD, RF, RFID, that's it, uh, blocker sewn in between the leather and the uh, nylon inside just to make sure that no one can scan my stuff as I'm going by. But I also only keep my wallet in my right front pocket. I don't put it in my back pocket. Uh, I lost a wallet like 15 years ago, maybe more than that, but I have it in my back pocket, and ever since then I just always keep it in my front pocket. So uh, just a habit kind of thing. But uh, I always have my wallet on me. All right, next. My EDC knife. Uh, this one is a Benchmade Emissary. It's S30V steel. I've had it for about two years now. Um, still sharp as all can be, and it's Sunday, so I'm gonna sharpen it today anyway. But even if it's not sharp, I'm still sharp. I'm shaving my arm, but I like this because it's. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by the clip. It stays in my pocket pretty deep, so the only thing that it really exposes is right there. I keep this in my back pocket. Um, you never know we're gonna need a knife, and I want one that's gonna, you know stand up to be able to cut something and cut more things and still kind of retain an edge. Um, I didn't jump into a $180 knife. Or I don't even know what these things run anymore. But I think about it like $180. Um, I didn't ever just jump into this. I kind of worked my way up. I started off with like a Gerber and then a Kershaw. You know, simple $40, $50 knife. And then I, uh, once I could trust myself not to lose it, uh, I got me a... Benchmade Barrage, but I lost that one, go figure. Um, and since I lost that one, I figured, hey, why not go ahead and upgrade while I could. So I got me a Benchmade Emissary. I love this knife. All right, next thing. Flashlight. Now, I'm a big fan of being able to see, and especially when it's night, and I don't have the little app on my phone anymore to use my flash because for some reason um, every time I have that app on there it kills my battery faster even if I don't use it. it like automatically opens I don't know but little pen light from Streamlight it's got double-a batteries I prefer the double-a's because with a double-a battery you can tell it's gonna die because it gets dimmer and dimmer versus like a lithium uh, with a lithium battery like a CR123 um, I have another light that uses one of those, but I didn't like carrying it because you don't know when that battery is going to die because with a lithium battery, um, once they go, they're out. So there's no slight dim, dim, then gone. It's a, uh, it works, it works, it works, dump, 
so I hate that. Um, which is why I'm glad I got a stream light with uh, double A's because as it gets dimmer, I know they got to change it out. All right, next thing. A lighter. I don't care who you are, even if you don't smoke. I haven't smoked in, what, eight years. I still always have a lighter on me because you never know when you're going to have to melt some cord, uh, start a fire for some weird reason, um, you know, put a candle on, or just, hey, just a good thing you have some fire. You know, hey, someone's passing out firecrackers. Who's got a light? Me. So, I know it's stupid, but hey, I always carry a lighter. I just imagine what people would have done 150 years ago. You know, like, Civil War period, people are sitting there with a flint and striker and taking five, ten minutes just to start a fire when you could easily just gone, boom. So... All right, next up on the list. What is this? I don't even know what number I'm on. Seven. Paracord. Uh, I got into the habit of doing paracord bracelets when I was in Afghanistan. Um, you kind of, on your downtime, which surprisingly enough when you're deployed, there's a lot of downtime. Uh, you kind of get, you feel better when you're doing something. And you can only play spades and rummy and all that so much with your friends before you start going crazy. Um, so you work out. When you can't work out, uh, you, you hope that you know you got enough charge left in your laptop to watch a movie. But if not, you know I just got to pick up and paracord and just start making me some paracord bracelets. And it's kind of one of those things that just got into a habit. This is what, nine years ago? So, it's been about nine years now. I've always had some form of paracord on me. All right. Number eight, some form of lip protection. It's kind of annoying when you're sitting there outside, especially in the summertime or right there in the dead of winter when you got chapped lips and all you can think about is, man, my lips are chapped. Like Napoleon Dynamite said, my lips are real bad. Yep, that's why I always carry this on me. Not to mention, if you ever need to, you can always light it. Good fire starter. All right, now, on to my final. If you have a concealed carry, if you're in a state that has a concealed carry, get it, use it. Always have a weapon on you, places you're allowed to carry. I can't stress this enough. There are some states that are constitutional carry, and I'm hoping that my state will eventually get that way. It doesn't look like it, but I hope it will. Uh, regardless, I have my CWP and I keep it in my wallet at all times. Conceal weapons permit, some call it CCW or whatever. Um, depending on the you know weather, uh, the time of year, what I'm wearing, it'll depend on what weapon I actually bring with me. I like this one because it's so thin. I like carrying a revolver because the the butt. There's no rounds getting stuck in them, you know, no magazines. So I don't have to worry about how having a thick or a really long, um, you know, magazine chamber or magazine well to uh, print. So I got those craft holsters inside the pant. Got my Smith & Wesson 686. It's a seven shot, uh, 357 Magnum. I carry this thing everywhere. It's got you can tell because it's got a little bit of lint on it, pocket lint. That's how you know you've been carrying it a lot. But you should always have a weapon, always. Um, and again, in places you're allowed to carry. Don't be one of those guys that sits there and goes into a federal building or school or somewhere like a post office and carrying a pistol. Because I know we you know we can get into this. They make. Gun, you know, gun-free zones make victims. Everyone's a victim. I understand that. I do. But you don't want to be that one guy going into a federal building, a courthouse, with a pistol, walking through the security part, and they actually have the metal detector going through, and they catch you with this. And you're going to be in a world of trouble then. So just don't do it. But always, in places that it's not marked, carry. And if, there's, if it is marked... If you don't have to shop there, don't shop there. I don't. So, uh, and a caveat to a weapon, concealed carry weapon, you always want to make sure you have a backup magazine, or in this case, a speed loader. 
two is one, one is none. I don't want to just trust what's ever, you know, in my uh, pistol just in case I have to reload. Uh, it, honestly, if I can't get what I need to get in seven shots, a 357 Magnum, probably got some problems, but just in case. Uh, I don't know why. You know, it could be one of those things where there's just multiple attackers. I don't know. I just feel better carrying around a extra magazine or a speed loader. So it's just personal preference. And finally, last on my list is a boot knife. This is directly or only used to be used for um, protecting yourself. You can see it's got some dust on it because I never use it. Thank God. Um, it's meant to grab like this and, you know, do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. I keep this in my boot. Never had to pull it out. The only time I've pulled it out is to show someone, hey, I have a boot knife. And they ask, do you carry a boot knife? Um, if I trust them, obviously. But this is a Benchmade. Yeah, it's got a pretty sturdy little grip. I wish it was a little grippier because it doesn't really, you know, hold on to my boot all that well. Because sometimes when I'm, if I'm, really pulling on it. It might slide out of my boot and I'm sitting there like this. Um, but if I can get it, there's a certain part on my boot that I've made it so it'll, it'll stick and I don't have to worry about that problem. But back up. Always have a backup. All right, so I think that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll, that, that'll do it. Uh, that does it. So um, I think everybody should be able to carry some sort of EDC. Uh, everyday carry. Uh, there, I'm sure there's something that you always carry around with you. Maybe some of these things, maybe all of these things. Maybe you go take a step farther. Um, some of you have a multi-tool, by all means. Uh, whatever works for you. But definitely always carry something. And if you have a concealed carry, carry. The biggest problem I see with people in concealed carry is they don't carry you know, enough. So you're sitting there like, the one time you may actually need to use it, you're not carrying. So, uh, with that being said, uh, love your feedback down in the comment section and uh, click that subscribe button. I would surely love to show more of my videos to you and I'll uh, catch you guys next time. All right.